hey guys welcome back so now after this let's proceed ahead now the next thing that i'd like to tell you is rules and conventions rules are rules you need to follow it if you don't follow you expect a compiler error you'll get a error conventions it's better to be followed if you don't follow you won't get any error but it's not a good practice especially java conventions they are in industry's blood we by default follow it if you are writing a java program and someone is seeing it and if he sees that you are not following the convention the immediate impression that he is going to get you don't know java so it's better that you follow it now first let me talk about the rule listen what the rule says the rule says that in one source code the rule says that in one source code now this is my one source code and in this one source code i have given i have written three classes class a class b class c the rule says that in one source code you cannot have more than one public class in one source code you cannot have more than one public class you can have n number of classes in a source code but out of those n number of classes at the most only one can be public you cannot have more than one public okay either all of them will be default or at the most one will be public if you try to give more than one public class in a source code expect compilation error it's a rule in one source code you cannot have more than one public class and the rule further says that if you do have a public class if you do have a public class you will have to save the source code by the name the name of the public class you will have to save the name of the source code the source code by the name the name of the public class so if you look at our code we have three classes in our source code and we have just one class public c so as per the rule i'll have to save it by the name capital c dot java the name of the public class if i try to save it by some other name compiler will give me an error so that is a rule so let me in fact save it in front of you so here i save it file save capital c dot java done so i hope you understood the rule the rule says once again i quickly repeat the rule says that in one source code you cannot have more than one public class either all the classes will be default or at the most you can keep one public class and the rule further says that if you do have a public class you will have to save the source code by the name the name of the public class so that is rule now the conventions the first class name conventions the convention says that class name the word should have first letter capital first letter capital if you look at uh, my class names our class names the word is one letter itself and that we have kept capital a capital b capital c capital the class name the word should have first letter capital and in fact these conventions java not only tells you to follow it also follows its own conventions if you look at this system it's a class in java can you see that s is capital then also if you look at this string it's also a class java's class api class s capital so class name the word should have first letter capital if your class name is made up of more than one word if your class name is made up of more than one word when i say more than one word you cannot have a space between when i say more than one word concatenated words if your class name is made up of more than one word then every word should have first letter capital so in case our class name is toyota innova is the name of our class then in that case t capital i capital that is how the name should be t capital every word should have first letter capital please don't give space space is illegal that's going to give you an error okay. that's going to give you an error so class name one word first letter should be capital more than one word every word should have first letter capital come to convention for method names the method name convention one word lower case 
lowercase. If you look at it, it's M1, M2, lowercase, println. It's Java's method. Isn't it lowercase? Main method, lowercase. Method name, the word should be lowercase. If your method name in, is again made up of more than one word. Again, when I say more than one word, you cannot have a space between. Space is illegal. It will give you a compilation error. When I say more than one word, concatenate it. If your method name is made up of more than one word, every word should have, I mean, first word will be lowercase. Second word on all the words will have first letter capital. First word will be lowercase. Second word on all the words will have first letter uppercase. Okay. So in case if we have a method by the name get speed, like the other day we had given it in car class, get speed, two words, method name concatenated, get lowercase speed s capital first word will be lowercase second word on all the words will have first letter capital so that is the convention for method names the same is the convention for variable names same as method names if your variable name is one word it should be lowercase and if your variable name is more than one word again when i say more than one word you cannot have a space between when i say more one more than one word concatenated words if your variable name is more than one word, first word look will be lowercase. Second word on, all the words will have first letter capital. So in case, if your variable name is owner name, so owner will be lowercase name and capital. So that is the convention for class names, method names and variable names. Okay. Conventions, if you don't follow, as I told you, you're not going to give a you're not going to get an error, but definitely it's not a good practice. So it's better that you follow it. Okay. So this was rules and conventions.